girl named Stephanie visited the forest to sit on the bridge in the waterfall. She then saw what ha- what happened to the waterfall, as it was blue and shiny, and he she didn't know what was behind it. She then decided to go back to home and read a story about the forest. I wonder what the be what's behind the waterfall. It looks like something is shiny, isn't it? What is that? It's blocking the waterfall colors. Let me go home and read a story about the waterfall forest. So Stephanie went to her car and went to her home to see a book about the forest. She also finds a dog in her house and decided to keep the dog because it was from nowhere. Stephanie named the dog Spilly. Spilly was a great name for Stephanie's dog as the dog always doesn't listen to her. And the dog always becomes spilly sometimes. So yes, this is the how the story began in the forest. Long, long ago, the forest had a crystal on one of its trees. There are three trees in the forest. What the two are don't have the crystals and one secret tree has a crystal in it. As you can see it has white and if you open it it has a nail to prevent anyone to take it. Now a villain Yeah a villain a villain named Blee Bree ha, what job was to take the crystal away and the force would move on and on and on and on to the edge of the world as you can see, as you can see its hills it's the hills so the villain's job is to make sure that the forest will never be there again that's what the villain's job is and stephanie its job is to save the forest from being and from being gone in the end of the world since the forest is probably hers and she has to discover a missing something behind the waterfall as you can see it was shaped to a heart like her but it didn't seem it a por- some chocolate bars were just in here and they were left by the villain because last time the villain ate chocolate and left it on the ground so Stephanie would slip and the villain could rule the forest. But Stephanie knew the house traps too well and didn't touch it ever. And for one piece of evidence, if the crystal was out of the forest and moved moved yeah i said moved to another tree like this one it would actually switch spots it was here right now it's here and the tree will likely fall down so mostly the tree doesn't so yeah so that's the story from long ago so here's that Hmm, so I read the book about the waterfall, but you didn't see anything about the diamond. So I will have to talk to some people? I guess I hope the people will understand my mission. Let's go! So Stephanie went to town, see hall, to meet some people. Hello, my name is Olivia. Who are you? My name is Stephanie and 
My mission is to find that item behind the waterfall I've seen a few times in my journey to the forest. Oh, I was uh, I was about to ask about that, and I think, and I think it's a diamond. The diamond protects the forest from dangerous beings. Really, it's a diamond. Yeah, you have to take it, and the shield will appear. So the villain, though it's trying to take the forest, won't take over it. Okay, I'll try my best, Olivia. How do I say to you when I need your help? Use here's the walkie-talkie. You'll need it. Oops. Sorry, it just my sandals. They're very slippy sometimes. Okay, thank you, Olivia. So, Olivia gave Stephanie her walkie-talkie. And Stephanie was happy. Stephanie went again to the forest. Despite she needed the diamond to protect it from the villain, she got her walkie-talkie from Olivia, and she set off in her car, hoping that she would see the forest and open and somehow find the diamond behind the waterfall. I don't know how it's behind the waterfall, but I hope I will find it. Yes, let's go. So, Stephanie. Stephanie drew, drew, drove to the forest and arrived there with her walkie-talkie. She decided to leave it in her truck. Despite that, she really didn't need it. In case something. So Stephanie sat again in on the her bridge that she made a long time ago and saw the diamond behind the waterfall. It was revealed that the diamond is kept behind the waterfall. And the crystal was on another tree. Just kidding, the crystal is on the same tree still. The crystal was back on the same tree, so it returned to its original spot. Yeah, that's right. Stephanie, upon seeing the sparkling waterfall, and wanted to open it. But... When Stephanie was sleeping on the bridge, something great happened. Something annoying happened. The great thing was that the crystal was in place again. But now, then, last night when Stephanie was sleeping, the villain. Yeah, that's right, the villain. The villain. Yeah, the villain. Why, villain? The villain. Hoping that Stephanie won't wake up, sneaked into Stephanie's forest. Yep, here's a complete picture of it. Sneaked into Stephanie's forest to steal her crystal. The villain managed to steal the crystal and returned to his base. In the forest started moving. Stephanie woke up and saw that the crystal was gone. And saw that the forest was moving far, far, and far, and far, and far, until Stephanie could barely see it. It moved further and further and further and further and further until like this. Stephanie could barely see the forest. And then Stephanie saw only one of its trees, no crystals, and a waterfall. That was it. And the, and the, the bridge she made now looks like a brown log. And so Stephanie, Stephanie, knowing that she needed to 
put the crystal back with her trap. She, of course, needed her nice little truck. She had her walkie-talkie packed and ready for a nice little adventure to find a crystal. She also packed a picnic mask, a picnic rug for no reason, some binoculars as well, just in case, in case she's like near. So, without a moment to lose, Stephanie started at Old Wild Forest that was so, 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 so far away and decided to go there. Stephanie put the chain into her car and the car drew, drove. After a day, the forest moved even further away. It was starting to feel like a nightmare. Look at how far it is now. It was starting to feel like a nightmare for Stephanie. She was here and this forest was so far away, she could barely see anything. She could only see three trees and one waterfall. Her bridge was gone. The fight campsite was gone. All she could see was three trees in the distance. Knowing that she has to fix this quickly before it goes to the end, she found the villain sleeping in a nearby cave with a crystal. Stephanie? got the crystal, packed it in her truck, and ready to save the forest. Stephanie continued to drive to long, long ago forest and realized something important. She forgot something. She forgot some food along the way and a drink. So she was very hungry and thirsty. Even though she was so close to forest until it moved away again. Stemmy got her binoculars, saw the forest closer, and saw the diamond. Oh my god, the diamond! OMG, the diamond! Yes, the diamond! I see it! And then... After she said that, the forest moved further away, and she cannot see the diamond again. No, the diamond! She was crashed because of a rock. She put everything back, hoping that she didn't miss anything. And so she put everything back continue her long journey to the forest. Can she make it? Or will the villain win? Stephanie thought. Stephanie went there and finally arrived at the forest. She picked up the crystal and put it back onto the tree. The forest then glowed with so many colors that Stephanie was blinded. Stephanie could not see anything and had to close her eyes. The forest then flew into the sky and going back to its original place. And the forest was happily again. The villain was still sleeping in the cave. Did not realizing the crystal was gone, but now Stephanie was further away. This was Stephanie, and this is the forest. Yeah. So Stephanie, knowing that she has to come back to her hometown, goes closer and closer. Her car also flies because of the forest glowing. And she finally arrived back in her hometown. The end.